Hi, my name is Jeremy and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. Today we're revisiting Fog and I'm responding to a comment by Zishan. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name somewhat close. Uh, Zishan writes, hi, thanks for the great videos. For the next one, could you go over setting up a Fog server in a LAN environment? I would love to get some pointers on how to set up Fog server to image and deploy physical PCs. Is that possible using VirtualBox or would I need to set up a standalone PC for a Fog server and get a switch to connect standalone PCs? I've got a diagram that is showing on your screen currently and this is the basic idea of one way you could set up fog for imaging machines. You've got router for your production network, you've got a switch, you've got a file server where you can store information, uh, including your images potentially. You've got the fog machine that's going to have two network cards. One of them going to the production network so the fog machine can get updates. The other one running to a separate switch for imaging purposes. The nice thing about this setup is that it keeps your imaging traffic, network traffic separate from what's going on on the production network and generally you'll image a little bit faster and you're not going to have an impact on the production network. Now, the fog machine can be either a physical machine or a virtual machine. So, if we were going to do this as a virtual machine, you would have fog set up on a VM, one network card in fog in the virtual machine would be in bridge mode to go to the production network. One would be set to a second network card, separate physical network card, also in bridge mode. Again, this is one of the ways you can do it. Going to a separate switch for imaging. And then, yes, you can image physical machines. Another way of doing this uh, would be to only have one network card and this gets a little more difficult because you'd have to make some changes to the network before you can do the imaging uh, if you were going to set it up that way. So this is the basic idea of the way I have implemented it both on a physical basis and at least partially uh, with virtualization. So my next diagram has a slight variation on this theme. I'll minimize that one. In this second diagram, again, we've got fog machine. We've got a single switch, one router, file storage, and our machine to be imaged. Now with this type of situation, you could see some congestion on the production network. The key to this is that you would need to set up DHCP option 66 on your router so that when the machine to be imaged needs to boot off the network, it is gonna hand that request over to the fog machine to provide the necessary files to start this computer, capture the image, or deploy the image. So again, there are multiple ways to set this up. Some of the finer details, the option 66 is the key piece, and the other parts of it, without knowing more about how you want your network set up, I can't tell you exactly how to set that up because as with anything in IT or nearly anything in IT there are five different ways that you could do this and there could be more than five ways you could do this so 
hopefully the, the diagrams have helped to clarify this a little bit. If you would like further clarification or if you would like an example video where I actually use a scenario closer to this, let me know. I may be able to set something like that up. I would have to do a little playing myself um, to make sure that I can do this with the equipment I've got at home right now. Uh, my reason for setting up fog initially was for a work project on which we had a physical server and it is set up more closely to this first diagram it's one machine two network cards it is an actual server machine I have a separate switch set up and the imaging is being done in more of a lab environment to keep the traffic separate. So far this has worked out very well. It started off as a proof of concept and we have taken it further from there. Hopefully this video clarifies a few things. If you have further questions, please Again, feel free to leave feedback and further clarification on your scenario that you want to implement. And I would be more than happy to revisit this again. Hopefully these diagrams helped. I'm not an artist. You don't want to see me hand diagramming out this stuff. But for the purposes of these videos, I thought this got the point across and uh, would be helpful for clarification purposes. So on that note, thank you for watching another episode of Practical IT. If you like the video, please give me the thumbs up. Please subscribe, leave comments, share the video with your friends, anybody that is in IT, anybody that's up and coming in IT, students or hobbyists. And uh, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video. Have a great day.